which means the ornament of all ornaments. Sometimes we hear that Krishna has ornaments, but our Acharyas will say different things about that. And one of them is, it's not so much that the ornaments are beautifying Krishna, but Krishna is beautifying the ornaments, because he's the ornament of all ornaments. <laughs> so interestingly enough, this ornament of all ornaments, Krishna, he's now been ornamenting himself with Radha's complexion and Radha's mood, Radha Bhava Duty Subalita. So a further ornamentation in the form of Gorhari. <clears throat> and also this Krishna, as Gorhari, as we know, he the word Hari, as we say yesterday, Hari can mean lion. So may that lion roar in the cave of our hearts. But Hari also can mean, and maybe that's the most well-known meaning of the name. Hari means, yeah, in a more direct way, thief. <laughs> no. So Krishna is known as a thief. I mean, that's, that's, it is said that that's the favorite name of everyone in Braj in general to call Krishna Hari. Because all of them have the experience how he's stealing so many things. I mean, Krishna is a real thief, accomplished one. He steals the gopis' butter. He steals the gopis' clothes. He steals even the clouds' complexion. He's taken from everywhere, not only on the earth, but goes to the heavens and taking something from the clouds. He's taken away one's sins, as we know. He's taken away one's wealth, as the Bible that is saying, just Yaham and Ogrinam and so on. For those I love, I'll take them. The wealth. Wealth means those things they are attached to, basically. So they can get fully attached to me. And so many other things. There's a very nice composition called the Chobra Ganya Ashtakam, which basically describes how Krishna steals everything that comes on his way. That, that's his vocation, if you will. So he's an accomplished thief, but we could say only as Mahaprabhu he was able to incur in his ultimate theft which was to steal Radha's heart and to steal Radha's complexion. That only he did as Mahaprabhu. And that's why we call also Mahaprabhu Gaur Hari, the golden thief. That's a way of saying that. Now, he st stole so many things in Krishna Lila in the Braj, but in Gaur Lila, he's getting the, the ultimate treasure he wants to take. No? Stealing Radha's bhava, stealing bhava's, Radha's kanti. No? Mood and complexion, Gaur Hari. So he's a thief, he's a very good one. And as Srila Bhakti Dev Goswami said once, that's our hope. She said one nice once nicely. Our hope is that Krishna is a thief. And for this, he, he shared one story, short one, nice one. We'll share it today. Why not? And there were once two policemen in India, and the, the two of them were devotees of Krishna. So one of them is asking the other, do you know? I think maybe it's a problem that Krishna is a thief because, I mean, we are policemen and we are worshipping a god who is a thief. So that may make our work complicated because we are telling people do not steal, do not do this, but our god is doing all those things. <laughs> <laughs> of course, in a very unique way. But one devotee was wondering, maybe this is a problem. And of course, the other policeman, the devotee, told him, no, no, that's not a problem, because Krishna is a thief, the very, the first, the best one, and a good thief, in the words of my Guru Maharaj, does not care for high walls or locked doors, but just goes to the, how do you say, objective, target, target thank you. No? So a good thief doesn't care for all the obstacles that may be on the way. The target is in mind, and somehow or other, he will get there. And the police said, and those high walls and those locked doors ex are exactly the things that we have built around our hearts. Mm -hmm. But our hope is that Krishna is a thief. Somehow he will go through all of them and reach the target mm -hmm. and steal our hearts. Mm -hmm. We have built so many things for that not to happen. <laughs> but Krishna is so expert as a thief that he will get to the target. So our hope is that it's not a problem that Krishna is a thief. That's our greatest hope. 